Hi, Tegan Fee here, and today I'm going to talk about a topic that I absolutely love, sex. And the reason being is that I see so many clients who have challenges in this area. For women, either they don't want to have sex anymore, they've completely shut down, or they're not able to orgasm, or they have a health challenge that is impeding sex for them, such as herpes or thrush or vaginal dryness. For men too, they've lost interest in sex, or they have erectile dysfunction issues or premature ejaculation. What we don't understand is that every single time that we have sex with someone, whether it's a casual encounter or whether it's with our partner, we're merging with that person energetically. Every single time you have sex, your chakras, your energy centers that sit along your spine are interacting with the other person and you are sending and receiving information. So at the end of the sexual act, and you part, you are left with all of this energetic debris from the other person or their energetic information. And 10 or 15 years down the track, you can still be carrying that other person's energy with you. Another thing that we don't understand about sexual energy is that when we merge in a state of love, when we come up into our heart during the sexual act and we're really there with our partner in love, we have this incredible opportunity to create with that energy. That energy creates life and we can also use that energy to manifest through intention. So when two people are orgasming together, you can tap into that creative energy and set an intention for what you'd like to achieve in the world. One of the biggest problems that we are facing as a society today around sex is pornography. Men are watching so much porn and it is affecting their relationships with women because their brain has been wired every single time they watch porn to objectify women, to disempower women. And they are learning that sex is just about friction. It's about getting off. And so when they get into a loving relationship, it's very hard for them to move from the base, from the lower regions and come up into the heart to enable them to really express and experience love from that deeply open-hearted space. And women can feel this, right? You know, as a woman, when your guy has been watching porn, you can feel it in this energy field. A woman's body will not open up if she doesn't feel that she's been absolutely honored and respected. And this is why a lot of women are shutting down around sex or they've developed problems over the years like thrush and herpes and vaginal dryness and other things because if they're not feeling honored and also if they're not in touch with their deep femininity the body will close down you see the body is designed to protect us and also if a woman has been sexually abused her body will protect her from further abuse for a man Sex is often the language of love. If he's in a relationship with someone and he doesn't feel that his partner's wanting to honor him sexually or to come close to him sexually, if she's just doing it because she feels that it's a duty, there will be this separation that occurs and he will distance himself by withdrawing sexually. So one of the most powerful things that we can all do, particularly if we're in partnership, it's just creating that space for our partners where we are sitting opposite our partner and just connecting on a really deep level. So not even going to those sexual places for a while, just connecting heart to heart. For women, it's really, really important that they get in touch with their femininity, that they start to love their bodies and really get in touch with the, their feminine sensuous side. This will really help your body to open up and to be receptive as opposed to closed down and contracted. And also to clear all of that wounding that you may have picked up around sexual energy and sexual trauma. 
and for men it's also important for them to clear any wounding around feeling disempowered. I mean men may have had a, an experience in their early sexual years where they felt disempowered by the woman that they were with and so this creates a shutdown or erectile dysfunction or premature ejaculation. There's this fear there around performance. My wish for us and for humanity is that we start to step into a greater understanding of sexual energy where we learn to be in sexual partnership with each other, not from the base, but coming up into the heart and allowing the heart center to be really, really open and that we honor each other and where women stop being objectified and used for sexual gratification only. Women are incredibly powerful, but we are keeping them disempowered by treating them as sex objects. And we have to teach our kids not to watch pornography. If you have any woundings around sex that you'd love to clear, book a session with me and I will help you to clear it so that you can have a thriving, beautiful love life. I hope you enjoyed this. Click on subscribe, stay in touch with my channel, and I hope to see you soon. Namaste.